A bit of a surprise in the legal battle over unsealing the affidavit to get the warrant for the FBI search of former President Trump's Palm Beach home. The judge said he is now inclined to release at least part of the affidavit, which has details of evidence and witness testimony that prompted the search and seizure of classified and top secret documents. The Department of Justice now has one week to file its proposed redactions to hide some of that from public view to protect the ongoing investigation. Aria Heights with us in the studio after speaking with legal experts to get a deeper breakdown on this possible unsealing. Ari? And to be clear, the request to unseal this affidavit did not come from former President Donald Trump's attorneys. This is coming from multiple media outlets from around the country. And at least one expert tells me he believes that may be one reason the judge is considering it. After hours of arguments Thursday afternoon, a federal judge decided that portions of the affidavit that led to the search of Mar-a-Lago can be unsealed. For many, it's not the ruling they expected. Frankly, I was a little surprised. I am a little surprised. Dave Arenberg is the state attorney in Palm Beach County. Richard Serafini is an attorney who used to work at the Department of Justice. Neither one has ever seen a judge unseal an affidavit for a search warrant. It does seem to me that the judge may have been moved by the, the number of media companies that had intervened. Shortly after the hearing, the first documents were released listing the crimes being investigated, starting with espionage, the willful retention of national defense information. The willful retention, which is a part of the statute that says that, hey, if you have these documents lawfully, you have to give them back after you're asked to do so, and he refused. The other two crimes they're looking at, concealment or removal of government records and obstruction of a federal investigation. As for the rest of the affidavit, the judge has given the Department of Justice a week to let him know what they believe should be redacted from the affidavit before it's unsealed. Probably anything that would reveal uh, sources of information, um, anything that might reveal uh, leads that could be followed up. If you release it, then it gives the opportunity for the targets to destroy evidence and to collaborate on their stories. In the end, the judge will decide what we see. Both Arenberg and Serafini say, don't expect much. There might not be a whole lot left um, when the redactions are done. The final document that is released will be of very little value to anyone. So again, we know the Department of Justice now has until next Thursday to submit to the judge what they think should be redacted. But even after that, there could be more hearings to determine what eventually gets released. So we could be talking about weeks until we see what, if anything, is released. Reporting live, Ari Height, WPBF 25 News.